So we need to, first we're going to do, we have to do the officers again and other things like that. So first we have to um, elect a chair. So we need a nomination for chair. I nominate Jack Davis uh, for chair. Yeah, yeah. Second it. Yeah. 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 There we go. Okay, so if, if we do by acclamation, that works. Acclaim no, it certainly does. Okay. You're, okay. you're recording that now. Right? Yeah. No, we're not recording anything. <laughs> we're not really um, for that. All right. Um, I nominate Peter Ofanos and Beth uh, Lane to continue as vice chair of education. I'll give you a little bit of explanation of what that is. Do we have a second on that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, Bill, if you would wish to continue, I'd like you to be vice chair on the board of selectmen. Sure. Right? Um, I'm not sure how many years I've been on f and I'm not even sure how many years I've been on the RTM. But if I'm not the oldest, Bill is on the committee. So um, if to, we have a second on that. Sorry. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's great. And um, Holly, will you continue as our yep. clerk? Fine. Do we have a second? A second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So now that we have that done, Krista will be down here yelling at me for where the off offices are, but we'll get to that later. Okay. So I just have to see what time it is. <coughs> we can now start recording. It's 7.52, I call this special meeting of the RTM Finance and Budget Committee together. Um, the first thing we have is to discuss the appropriation and bonding authorization to increase the appropriation and bond authorization for Gorham Pond Dam by $625,000. I actually asked at the Board of Finance meeting how it was discovered because this was missed by everyone um, it's um, the consultant that we hired to do the RFP put down square feet instead of cubic yards. That has a slight change in the <laughs> what the order is supposed to be. And when the contractor went to go and do some calculation to pre-order the stuff, he goes, "All right, that's not going to work," and came back and told us about the error that was there. Again, this is FEMA reimbursed. Um, they also discussed at the meeting on the Board of Finance that while they're ordering 209 cubic yards of the material that they have to do, including the water and everything, they actually go out and measure the cubic yards of what will be used in the project, and we will only be paying for the cubic yards that we actually use. So there's going to be a measurement on it. That's the rough estimate. And we'll go from there. Um, we addressed this in um, September, and the resolution, um, it was already approved. The resolution was for uh, $3,345,900. Um, this is adding six twenty-five. dollars um, Is If there's any other discussion on that, we can open the floor to discussion. That's why we're doing this now, because I thought it would be quick. All right. Um, I need somebody to move the resolution um, to add 625. Um, I have Bill Dunn. I need a second. I have Bill Smith. <coughs> All in favor, say aye. aye. OK, aye. that passes. Great. Um, two other things that I wanted to mention. December 7th. And please contact me. I'm, I'm going to be traveling tomorrow, but um, I should be at the end of the day be able to look. December 7th, the Board of Ed does a tour of the schools. It usually starts about 9-ish or yeah, something like that with, with um, coffee in. Um, but it will bring you to all the capital projects of what they're going to be talking about throughout the schools. It's a very good... Um, yeah, it's very good... For nothing else, you get lots of one-on-one -on -one time with board members. You know, can talk, ask questions about anything. 
it's just good, in, in addition to getting specific info and insight into different projects, just getting to know people and, and, and ask whatever questions you want, it's good, it's good face time. So um, I'd like to be able to tell them who's attending to go, so if you can email me, anyone who's interested in going, I'll pass that on to the um, Board of Ed. Um, and um, it's a good session to have. Um, second thing is the Board of Finance did their tax strategy, is the best way to put it, at their last meeting. And um, there's certain assumptions that were made, and there's also some other things to it. And while Jim Palin builds phenomenal models, I mean, just really good models, which makes our life easy because we don't have to build them. We just need to build this copy. Um, but <clears throat> there's certain assumptions that he's made there that will change some of what's going on. So after he's going to be presenting it at the State of the Town. Um, at the end of this, after the State of the Town, which is December 9th, but before the Christmas holidays, I'd like to have a special meeting for us where we can invite Jim in and other board members um, who want to attend and we can talk about the model, talk about our approach because it does deal with what we're going to be bonding, what we're not going to be bonding. It's going to talk about the growth in the grand list. We're going to talk about what their range is because they start with the range that if your operating budget and capital budget is up here based upon the fact that we're going to have incremental income from investments, um, additional money in the general fund, and um, we're also going to have a growth in the grand list. Whenever the grand list grows, if we just taxed at the old rate, we're en ending up with incremental revenue. Um, grand list final number is as of October 31st, but it is uh, pr presented January 31st, so we'll know that number prior to going into the budget. But it's worthwhile to have an understanding of how Jim's viewing the um, discussion. For the most part, they believe it's qualitative, but I think if you're going into, a, I'm against budgeting, um, doing the budget to a mill rate. I believe that we look at the budget, we see what's going on, and then you can qualitatively say if it's reasonable or not. Um, once you go and say, this is the mill rate range that I wanted in, you take some of the qualitative and make it quantitative. And I know that's not their intention. They have a good board. Um, quite honestly, out of the seven board members, five of them, Jim used to be chair when I was vice chair on this committee. Um, there's four other members who are, um, have been members of F&B during the time that Bill and I have been here. I mean, quite honestly, when Chair Taylor Carter was Vice Chair of Education, um, Rob Cardone was Vice Chair of um, Board of Selectmen, and then we just this year lost, or they gained, uh, Lynn Gasserud and uh, Jenny Schwartz from, from our group. So, um, so there's a lot of people that we know that's there. And my joke is, is that, you know, they now are on the Board of Finance, so they're on the dark side, and let's just keep on reminding them that they're Jedis. Um, so, um, so that takes care of that. The other thing is, and I will pass this around, um, our approach is we assign, uh, people get to look at various parts of the budget, and so, the concept is for you to become the technical experts um, for the committee as it relates to um, like community environment or public works or park and recreation. And we lost several people I'll pass around to make sure people are interested in what they want to look at. Um, and then we'll put down names. We meet with both the Board of Finance members who are assigned an equivalent role there. It used to be called the buddy system, so that we meet up and we can discuss their perspective on the budget, our perspective on the budget, but we also try and incorporate the other committees. 
there's very few things that we're actually directly responsible for on the budget. Um, obviously, the education committee handles the education budget, although we will have a lot to say about that. But the public works, you know, you can go to the public works and be the liaison between our committee and the public works when Ed Gentile is going to go and do a presentation there, or um, Jeremy Ginsburg will do a presentation to PZ and H, uh, which is always a good one to attend if you're on that. And you can go there, hear their presentations, and then we try and work within that committee, F and B, and the Board of Finance to sort of like come up to what we believe is reasonable. Or well, if there's areas that we disagree on, it's out on the table. Now, and, and I actually meant to sort of like warn you about this, Charles, but last year Charles put down what we're looking at. And do you, do you want to, it uh, may not be word for word of what you said, but we're not in the weeds. But go ahead, Charles, if you, if you don't mind. Um, I, I'm not sure what you wanted me to say, Jack. So. But uh, like our approach, it's like we're, we're at a high level and of what we're looking at. We're not managing <coughs> these departments. And no, but I mean, it's just a, I mean, for instance, I handled the public works last right. time, which was, I don't know, it's probably 85 or 90 pages of text plus yeah. attaching spreadsheets and so on. And, and, and um, it does help to have done it more than once. I mean, you get yeah. smarter by the time you do it, but, but, uh, but in all these things, there's quite a lot of detail. I mean, so for example, in public works, there's the issue of, of uh, cost sharing or getting invoice from Stanford for uh, for um, uh, recycling and wastewater treatment and what have you and and uh, anyway I mean I I, I personally um, uh, also when when the when the department heads do the presentation to the board of select I always made it a point to attend those as well so you kind of hear straight from the horse's mouth what what Ed is an example Ed, Ed Gentile as an example is is planning to do right and that. So I'm not saying we're not going to get into detail, because to be the subject management expert, you know, we're going to learn what's going on. And if there's things that you're seeing or hearing and other things like that, that's part of the committee. Um, and it's something that we'll be setting up. The other thing that I do recommend is that the Board of Finance has a um, package that they do um, monthly, essentially. And one of the nice things about it is on a month-by-month -month basis for the various line items that we're going to be looking at, they will say over the last five years the average amount that was spent in this line categories was X percentage were over here. And that sort of tells them whether or not in, on the revenue side if we're behind or on the expense side whether or not something else is going on. So it's a good five, six pages to look at the whole package. It deals with all the contingency accounts. It also deals with all our bonding issues and what we have outstanding. So um, it doesn't take much time to go and flip through, but it's a good uh, package to take a look at um, on what's going on. So other than that, um, I think we have one minute, uh, one minutes that you handed out. Um, the last time, and it was for our last meeting, which was October sometime. Uh, if not, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll go and get it. The next meeting we'll have, we'll bring up uh, the minutes and have them approved. Um, if there's no other business, I'll take a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Peter, we need a second. I have Bill, Bill Dunn, Peter Orfanos. We have two Peters, two Bills. So we, uh, you can two see Charles that. and three Peters. Yeah, yeah, two Charles. That's yeah. right. Got a lot of them. Yes. Peter, Peter, yeah. Peter, yeah. three Peters. Oh, three. It's right. popular I forgot. So yes, we have three. Um, so anyway. All in favor, everybody have a nice holiday. Yeah, uh, enjoy, have a safe one.